congratulations, Minnesota Senator Amy Klobuchar. The New York Times has endorsed you for president, along with Elizabeth Warren. Yep, it's like a two-for-one special at your local tap room. A buy one, get one free sale at the men's warehouse, or in this case, women. Point is, the paper, since 1860, has made an endorsement in the presidential race, but has never gone the two-candidate route. I mean, if you're going to make a decision, make a decision, right? So, is the New York Times just trying to get attention with its quirky endorsement? Or maybe in this strange political climate, they're just doing what everyone else does, challenging the traditional system. My skeptical brain went with the former, but after talking with Scott Libin, senior fellow at the Hubbard School of Journalism at the U of M, he challenged my traditional system. Okay, so they chose two Democrats, but the two Democrats they chose are fairly different. Actually, they're vastly different, save for the fact that they are both women and both claim to be from the same party. Warren is a progressive. Klobuchar is a moderate. The other candidates the editorial board surmised were too old or too inexperienced. Sorry, Mayor Pete. Libin's point is they chose both because they are so different. If you happen to be a progressive, Warren is for you. If you tend to be a moderate, they suggest you vote Klobuchar. And they give their very detailed reasons why for each. So instead of getting caught up in the way it's always been done, I guess the point is take the information and do with it what you will. Which leads me to the next point. Does it even matter? Does any newspaper endorsement give a jolt to a campaign? Libin says for Klobuchar, who's been struggling nationally, it is a nice little win. But do voters in Iowa and really anywhere else care what the New York Times thinks? Probably not. And if they hadn't given a nod to a senator from our state, we probably wouldn't be talking about it either. And trust me, we're going to keep talking about it. But good news, only like nine and a half more months to go. Great. Thanks for the timeline reminder, Rena. You're such a good friend. Just in case you were wondering, the first person the New York Times editorial, ed editorial board ever endorsed? I'll let you guess. Okay, you're done. Abraham Lincoln. And in 2016, if you wanted to know, they picked Hillary Clinton as their endorsed candidate on the Democratic side. We'll be right back.